Good evening, I'm Keely Van Mittendorp. Here's what's making headlines across the county. The pandemic is continuing to affect public services here in Kern. The Golden Empire Transit announcing they will be reducing service due to staffing shortages. Starting February 6th, the daily fixed route buses will operate from 6.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. The changes will be in effect until further notice, but will not impact Route 92 going towards Ikea. Starbucks will no longer require employees to be vaccinated against COVID-19. This after a Supreme Court decision halted a federal mandate on large employers requiring vaccines. Starbucks was set to start enforcing its vaccination mandate on February 9th. The company says while it respects the Supreme Court's decision, it still strongly believes in the intent of a vaccine mandate and that the vast majority of its employees are already vaccinated. And new details are emerging on how the Biden administration will distribute free N95 masks. President Biden recently promising to make high quality masks free to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Those 400 million masks will become available starting late next week at a network of local pharmacies and community health centers. They are the same locations that have been used to administer vaccines. The free masks come from the strategic national stockpile and represent more than half the 750 million masks in that inventory. And a familiar sight once again here in Kern County. Fog back in the forecast. It was in the forecast for this morning as well, but we didn't see it. But I think there's a little bit better chance here tonight. No cloud cover tonight and high pressure even closer to us. So overnight lows, 40s and 30s. That's definitely cool enough to support some of that fog here overnight. And we see those temperatures into the 60s with hazy sunshine in the afternoon. Into our Friday and Saturday, a little bit of change here. The wind's picking up a bit as we see a system dropping over to our east. But still, we enjoy hazy sunshine and highs in the 60s. Stronger winds still in our mountain communities. But again, the temperatures remain in a very nice, very comfortable range. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turnto23.com.